Today I'm here with Simone O'Brien, a domestic violence survivor and our Culton Respects Initiative Ambassador. I'm really humbled and, and feel honoured to be standing up here in front of you and knowing it's not embarrassing from a person that has been a survivor of domestic violence that there's elite athletes like yourself that are getting behind what Australia is in it in this epidemic of domestic violence. My journey started in 2012 uh, when I did go on a dating site and met, if I can just use the word perpetrator, and over a period of, of nine months not knowing about domestic violence prior to the age of 37 and being a single mum, um, I tried to say no to get out of the relationship and the perpetrator didn't like that. So he ended up beating me with a baseball bat to the, to the right side of my face. I suppose not giving up in this domestic violence situation, um, my journey is just getting bigger and it's awesome for my healing and hence why now I'm here as an ambassador for Carlton Respects program and uh, really looking forward to, to working with our clients. Oh, that's amazing. And if you don't mind, if we can sort of backtrack a little bit and go back to sort of 2012 and, and when everything, when your attack started and, and how that relationship started. Yeah, sure. Because um, like, like I said, we, we spoke briefly about you knew your perpetrator. It's not a matter of someone that's just come out of the blue. You no. knew them on a personal level. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, it was um, over a period of, of nine months um, that my little red flags um, popped up. but is why I actually chose this perpetrator online for starters was because he was in real estate and that was like a light bulb moment for me because he'd had a police check because he'd been in real estate and then um, once those little red flags started popping up and my, my trust and that's where I wanted to end it, to end it and um, ending it he didn't like me saying no and I can remember walking into the bedroom and he's asking me questions and he goes, well, you know, why can't we? And I just said, look, let's just be friends, let's work on it. I've got three kids and um, three kids and two jobs. I said, life's busy. And um, so then my next minute, like obviously walking in, I don't remember if he pushed me on the ground or he pushed me or I tripped over. But um, next minute I look up and that's where I, I seen the baseball bat coming down on my arm. So. You know, enduring, you know, 45 to 50 blows to this side of my face. Um, the children were running in and out of the house to get, um, to get help. But going from that 6.06 to 6.16 uh, for when the perpetrator was in the room, that was when I was fighting for my life and um, the services did come and that's where, you know, obviously I was taken off to hospital and they had to put me into an induced coma because they didn't mm. think I was going to survive. And the extent of your injuries, I know you mentioned before, um, and again, sorry to sort of go into oh, detail, okay. but you had your arm mm. up and, and the perpetrator was hitting yep, you with the baseball arm. bat. So that, um, you can see a bit of tape on my arm mm. and um, he hit that three or four times. I knew that was broken because it was dipping, but do you know what, I still can't remember any pain from yeah. it, obviously the shock. But in that 10 minutes um, from 6.06 to 16, that's where I endured 45 to 50 blows to the right side of the face, which now, um, obviously, I've lost my vision in this eye. I've lost my sense of smell. This whole side is now titanium plated, and this was all smashed in with an implant um, on my cheekbone, so. Amazing that you've come through off the back of this, not story, but the, the back of your attack and, and actually pulled through and managed to, to be alive Absolutely. today. Absolutely, and, and following up from that, um, I've since met the ambulance officers who came to the scene. Oh, have you? And, um, that was amazing, and they actually put me in a positive step straight away. They said, Simone, lucky you did endure the, the 45 mm. to 50 hits um, to the face, because it actually shattered your skull. And with any brain injury, um, your brain swells. So yeah. because my brain was swelling, my skull was able to move because it was shattered. It was expanding. They said, that's what's actually saved you. If it was only like five to ten, I'd be either a vegetable or, or dead. Honestly, the courage that you show and determination that you show for others is a testament to make others work harder. And, and that, that's why, you know, um, why I'm doing what I'm doing and especially, you know, being an ambassador for the Carlton Respects program, I'm so excited because if we can change one person's life, we've won, you know, and that's all we need with the epidemic that Australia's in. And what is it about the Carlton Respects program that, that 
really hit home to you or that why are you getting involved in cult and respects doing exactly that yeah. like what we, we're just going bigger and better as yeah. in we the, the corporates that are involved in the schools because we need to change the mindsets of our of our little younger generations yeah. coming through because if, if Johnny thinks it's a norm in his dad he and his mum he's going to do exactly yeah. the same thing. So yeah, just knowing that what I'm doing is just aligning with the Carlton Respects program and yeah. so looking forward to it, just to be a part of it and knowing that it's going to be bigger and better. Yeah. And well, thank you so much for coming and sharing your story today as well. I think it's just a testament to you that being able to be here and actually speak of your story and share it with other people may in fact help someone else along the way, whether it's the person themselves or family members as well. So thank you very much. Thank really you. appreciate you sharing it. Such an honour. If you or anyone at home are experiencing any of these red flags, you can head to cultonrespects.com.au or if you would like any further assistance and immediate assistance, you can call 1800 RESPECT.